nice skill from him. Well, the turn and the spin away was, but they've given the ball straight to Dara Burns. He can shoot. Great left foot. Oh, what a goal from Dara Burns. That is a stunner on the opening night of the season. And Shell's architects of their own downfall. But Burns had so much to do. And it was down to a great bit of composure, a wonderful bit of skill, and a beautiful left foot to put St. Pat's in front in the 19th minute at Tolka Park. Oh, it's a brilliant strike. Hawkins gives the ball. He does really well here. Just looks up and plays a loose ball straight to him. Tara Bournes, but he's only one thing in his mind. Just to open out his body and bend it into that top corner. It's a brilliant finish from Young Bournes. A real talent, this boy. But he does really well. Just checks back in, gets onto his left foot and bends it into the top corner. Brilliant finish. Oh, you could look at that all evening, but not if you're a Shells fan, I know, but this is beautiful. Yes, yeah, just, just that check takes Mark Coyle out again, doesn't he? He's going too quick, he checks back in, and he smashes it with his left foot into the top corner. No chance for the goalkeeper. Shells have started the game really, really well, been a better side, but they find themselves a goal down through a wonderful strike. Coyle. Oh, and Coyle too short. Here comes Mark Doyle for Pats as they go in search of a second goal. Doyle! And again, it's a cheap giveaway ball from Shelbourne. It's a brilliant finish from Mark Doyle. He does really well. I'm sure there's a couple of pass players that made great runs off. He didn't use them, just used them as guides and smashed the shot with his right foot. Keeper gets a hand to it, but finds its way into the corner. Again, great counter-attack from Shelbourne or from St. Pat's. Brilliant finish. Again, they give the ball away cheap here. Coyle under here past the O'Driscoll and he drives on, drives on runners each side of him, but he doesn't want to use Alan Doyle. Keeper be a little bit disappointed. It's close to him, maybe is the only thing. We see it here. He picks her up really well. Shells again give the ball away cheaply. Gets across to Shells defenders. It's really close to him, is the only thing. He goes down, gets a strong hand at and just can't turn it around the corner. Yeah, but it's a good finish from Doyle. He's been good as well. You know, since the start of the game, he's coming off that left hand side. We said that he does come in and score goals. This time he hits it well. Keeper should do better for me. Stronger hand. It finds its way in the corner. Long way back for Shells now. It most certainly is, and uh, well, it could be a happy return to Tolka Park in the Premier Division for St. Pat's in a strong position now. He's Dara Burns' replacement. Forrester, an exhibition of passing from him. Mark Doyle goes on the outside, J.R. Wilson there with him, there's the third goal, McClellan. It's been and is a very happy return to Tolka Park for St. Pat's. Three goals, three points. They've deserved every one of them. Yeah, what a touch again from Forrester in midfield. Like you say, class, a little bit of skill on pass and a great run from... Here we see, he just picks out a pass to, to, to Mark Doyle. Brilliant force touch and just puts the ball into dangerous area. You see here, put it into dangerous area as a wide player. McClellan coming in off the other line, comes across. Doyle does really well, puts it into a real dangerous area. McClellan comes across, gets across his full back, sticks a home with his left foot. Game over, it's game probably been over for a while. Comprehensive from Pats. Oh,